Hello everybody and welcome back to another video in our channel where we have another amazing diplomacy map for you guys. Uh, before we hit off and start explaining what we have here, uh, let me tell you about our giveaway where we are giving away 8 free games in our channel for you, our viewers and supporters, to thank you for all the amazing help you have provided us during the past 2 months. Uh, you will find more information in the link in the comment section below about the video of the giveaway. Now, let's get straight into it. Now, here guys is another custom made diplomacy map featuring the period of the Reconquistas around the 1200 AD uh, in uh, Spain, <coughs> northern, northern Africa and uh, southern and mi uh, middle France. Alright, let's get straight into the factions and start explaining all about them. Now, our first faction here is, which I am playing, is the Duchy of Bordeaux. Now, uh, here you can see, this is the main city. The Duchy of Bordeaux was one of the vassal states of the French Kingdom, or was a part of the French Kingdom, you can say. And they begin with this amazing here castle, in a really nice location, uh, far from everybody else besides their neighbors, the county of Provence, but we will get there soon. And they have a lot of room to expand, and they are quite peaceful. They also have a small village here up uh, up northern, in the northern part of France. We are approaching Brittany at this height. And yeah, this is basically the two cities. They do not begin very strong, but they do have a quite advantageous position to take advantage of that. Now let's get straight into the second faction. And the second faction we got is the county of Provence with the city uh, of Marseille. As you can see, the city of Marseille is not the biggest, but it is quite well organized, having all the essential buildings and a small citadel here by the port to protect it. It is well defended and it is in a really nice location. Here are some Roman ruins from a pretty long past, let's say. And they got here their meals and some food productions, a really nice location. And they also have another small town very close to their capital <coughs> here which I don't recall the name because French names are mostly weird. Um, a small village with a nice chapel here, nothing crazy, but it is another resource production region since they have a second town center. Right, let's get now into the Spanish and Portuguese uh, factions. We have the Kingdom of Aragon here in the capital of Barcelona. Now the Kingdom of Aragon begin with a mediocre little town, uh, which is walled, but they do have some uh, sprawling little communities outside the city walls because they couldn't fit it all. Now they also have the option to expand into the Balearic Islands which can prove really useful if they so wish to since they got a lot of uh, rich, they are rich in resources and they also have a small village here in, uh, in inland Spain close to where the Basque County is here. Residence location they are by the river they get a lot of room to expand and some resources. The mountains also act as a barrier. Really nice overall. Also, let's say that uh, the passes to Spain are limited. Now, uh, one, two, three, four, I think. Yeah, and you can easily defend them. They're really narrow, which is something that the Spanish players can use to protect their regions. And let's get on with the Kingdom of Castile later on. With the capital here in Asturias. Asturias, uh, they got some really a really nice location, only two small quarters from the south and to the west and east, <coughs> a very limited access. Now let, it's a good time to say that the French begin as allies, even though that can change uh, throughout the game. But at the start of the game they do begin as allies, and the Spanish do begin as allies, so they have a northern front, let's say, in northern of Spain, as well as the two Muslim factions begin as allies. However, the only absolutely neutral faction, which we will get to at last, is the Kingdom of Pisa, which is an Italian city-state and it doesn't mingle a lot with uh, the other's affairs. Alright, now, afterwards, the Kingdom of Castile also starts with another town here in Lyon, close to Lyon. Uh, so sadly, I couldn't fit Lyon, there was simply not enough space in Spain uh, to fit them. As, as, pro as proper as I should have. So I put another small town here, really nice. I, I love the location of it, uh, to act as Leon. Let's get on with the Kingdom of Portugal, one of my favorite factions. Now the Kingdom of Portugal is in a weird location. It has a lot of space around it, which is nice, 
but also it is, uh, uh, let's say, quite peaceful regarding the rest because the other ones will have to deal with some Muslim incursion sooner rather than later. But with the Kingdom of Portugal can begin expanding slowly and taking resources, and it's quite protected as well from the rivers and whatnot, and can take whatever it wants to, to take. Yeah, so that is the Kingdom of Portugal. Uh, nothing crazy, but it's a nice kingdom. Uh, it's all led, obviously, by the Portuguese. And then on, we got to my favorite faction, the Almohad Caliphate, with their capital, Agronada. This is arguably the, not inarguably, the largest city in the entire game, in the entire map. It is an absolute beast. There is also the citadel here guarding the entrance. This is the main town. They also have a nice monument in the middle of it all and some Roman ruins by the coast where the old um, uh, Gor uh, Granada used to be, let's say. And uh, or Carthago Nova, let's say that that is. They also have a lot of region to expand to. They have some wildlife that c they can take, a lot of um, uh, wood around them and a really nice location overall, really safe. However, this is not the last of the Muslim cities in uh, Spain, in Iberia. They also have Cordoba, sort of. Uh, it's a bit to the east, but do not mind that. They also have Cordoba here in the middle of it all, surrounded by, by the north from different Christian towns. Uh, it's a sprawling little town. It has its town center, a castle to protect it. So the essentials to flourish. Nothing crazy, but it does act like a small barrier to protect the metropolis that uh, Granada is. And I really like its location. Next on, we got another town in the north here. You could say that it, that could be, I guess... Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. But that is another small town they have in the northern coast. This is the least popular one. It doesn't have a town center, because that would make them overly powerful. It doesn't have a town center, but it does have some ports, a castle, and, the nation, and some necessary military buildings. Uh, obviously, the Almohad Caliphate can take uh, advantage of that and bring some settlers in to make a town center. And then the party begins. The reason I didn't want to place them immediately with a town center is that all of this region is empty and it is rich uh, with resources. And giving them a town center immediately uh, would make them simply too powerful. Next on, we go to the other Muslim faction, the Almoravid Caliphate, which was historically more to the east, near Tunisia mostly, but I put it for the sake of adding another faction to be allied with them. So we have a, the, a small town here belonging to the Almoravid. It is the closest one to the, the action, let's say. Really nice town overall. Not heavily defended, but it does have its castle and uh, some essentials like a uh, a marketplace and a monastery and a, a small dock. It does have some nice uh, fields here that it can uh, grow and it does have arguable land and a lot of wood around it, which it can take advantage. There is another Roman ruin. And yeah, now let's go to the capital of the Almoravid Caliphate, a rather impressive town. So we're going to the capital. As you can see here, it's in the end of the map, so it's actually pretty protected by, by land. Here are some, uh, in the outskirts, some fields that uh, the player can take advantage of. And there we go to the city itself. Really nicely protected. You see it's really packed. And it also has a castle and a docks. And it is uh, one of my favorite towns, honestly. I love how it looks. And the citadel here cut off by the little stream, let's say, and uh, everything. The town is really compact, but it does fit all the necessary things. It even has a siege walk, so and a university and whatnot. Really nice location and town and it is for that reason the third almost almost second strongest. Alright now let's get on to the last player of the game which is the Republic of Pisa. The Republic of Pisa begins with a small colony town here at the, at the island of uh, Corsica of Sardinia sorry and it is uh, a really nice location. They have the whole island to themselves. Uh, a lot of resources to build upon and they are quite isolated as well as they are neutral to begin with. So unless they choose to, they are not forced 
to take uh, action or join any war at the beginning. Of course they can later, but yeah, that is the case. Uh, they have a lot of land, they don't have a lot of land, but they can take advantage of it quite easily. As you can see here, they're spamming farms. Uh, some wood, nicely done. And a lot of, um, oh, they just went to castle as well. A lot of dogs here that they can take advantage of. And this is the land bridge that I created to sort of make a point that they are united. But anyway, uh, you can no longer cross to the island of Corsica. But the island of Corsica also contains, uh, is under the control of the of the free city of Pisa. And it is uh, here. It has its towns and everything. A small town with a marketplace, a lot of wood, a town center which can be prove uh, which can prove useful. And it also has gold deposits. So. Uh, this is basically this map. Uh, it took a lot of effort. I added uh, to make it interesting. You can see here we have some uh, 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 passing, some really nice nature. Try to make it as realistic as possible. Put on some rivers that used to exist and all. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this map, guys. If you do, feel free to download it from the link in the description below and tell me what you think about it, what could be improved. And yeah, that is it basically for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.